Alright, welcome back to the Sports Cafe Show, no me television. Uh, and yes, uh, as I said earlier, we have a big, big interview here, and that is uh, the midfield maestro, the midfield general, former Kumasa Santikotoko, former final player, former Brooklyn Chelsea player, as here, Jordan Opoku. Good morning, and uh, thanks for your time uh, on the Sports Cafe Show. Uh, good morning. Jordan, how, how have you been, and uh, how are you feeling? I'm good. You're looking smart. You're looking great. Yeah. Oh, by the grace. Great, great. Jordan, uh, I mean, first of all, tell us, um, where did I start from you? I, I understand that uh, Tema Hurricane. What, what, what team is that? Tema Younger Zakis. Younger Zakis. Yeah. And uh, how did it come about? I started from uh, school. Mm. Uh, I think the team is close to my primary school. Okay. So they picked me from the primary school to the under 12. No. How, what quality did they see in you? Because you know, and, and that's in this part of our, our, our world, when a player is that smallest, that short, they don't like to take it. But what quality did you have? What, what did the coach see in you? Uh, technically, I'm good. Mm. And mentally, I'm tough. Mm. Yeah, because everything is about mental mental advantage. Okay. And that is the reason why. Yeah. That, so from there, you play the coach team. And how did it happen for you? When you broke, when you broke through into final in two thousand and two, I think it started from uh, uh, as I said earlier mm. from the uh, from the coast team. Mm. Uh, but normally we used to play that uh, you know games in the house that okay. they put on money. Munchedi, mm. uh, yeah, that Munchedi. Mm. So uh, somebody called me to come and play Munchedi at uh, Tama New Town. Okay, and uh, a man saw me at Tama New Town. Mm. Uh, he was a coach, uh, assistant coach Adi. Mm. So uh, he was staying with Tema Newton. So okay. he came and watched the game and he said, Oh, uh, I've seen one guy, you have small boy, so I would like him to, to come play. to uh, your side so that you can see him. So, mm. so through that manner, I got to know Coach Adi and uh, the, the white man, Kerry Brooklyn. Mm. Uh, uh, coach Adi may so, so rest in peace. Mm. So that is through him that uh, you, 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 about. To final, yeah. The very first time you got there, that was that was it was being named Kumar Feta final. Yeah. The very first time you got there into the academy, how no, did you feel? We started the academy, so okay. uh, uh, I was the first person they selected for the academy. Wow, incredible! Uh, 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 from Mr. Brooking, so mm. uh, they decided to make a, a academy in Ghana. Mm. So they go to regions to region to select, select players. players. So. After they will select the players, then we'll come and meet at uh, Winneba mm. to play the Justify. So okay. uh, they selected most of the players from uh, Greater and uh, North, and I think uh, from Pumasi also. Uh, mm. Roughly were almost 20 players. Mm. And they used those players to do the academy. Yeah, I mean, being in the final academy, um, mm -hmm. you spend about just a season or so, and you move on to I Europe. Spend, uh, one year. One, season, yeah, season, yeah. yeah. And you move on to. Uh, uh, Euro final, final uh, youth uh, under 17. Yeah, and they promoted me to the second team. Mm. Then, after they see that my performance is uh, going better, then they introduced me to the first team. But well, well, the very first time you, you, you yeah. heard that you're going to travel to final uh, um, um, junior side yeah. in, in Holland, how, how, how did your family take this? Uh, they were happy mm. because I already I was. In were you academy. tensed? Were you? No. The first time I went to the outside, I was tensed because mm. uh, you know, 
going to a different uh, environment, yeah. different language, you know, it's not easy to yeah. cope with yeah. all those things. So I just have to uh, just pray that everything goes well for me. I went the second time before I, I get used to the system oh, okay. because it was not easy for me in the mm. first, first very time. Very tough. Uh, very tough because uh, we stay here, then we think uh, the white people, they, they can't play, they mm. can play. Mm. Yeah, technically they are good mm. the advantage we have over them is when we are strong then you have uh, uh, like a uh, mental you are tough mm. but when we come to pass in and this thing uh, why they are more better than us they are more better than I'm us i'm telling you wow wow i'm telling you wow so you you uh, it was very tough for you in your first season there but later on you went to royal antwerp also played on loan yeah the, the first thing i went to holland was mm. when i was in uh, when i was 17 years okay so the second time i went there for almost four months mm. then after i came back mm. then i have to go there again mm. for another trial so okay. the second time then i made i made it to the second team mm. then they have to uh, sign me to uh x yeah. which is in holland yeah, yeah. yeah so that they can see whether i can uh, perform okay. then after the exception it's unfortunately the the man who took me robbie bounce mm. was the technical director okay but later on they have to take him out to for another person so that's why i moved to royal antwerp mm. great and then after that you moved to royal antwerp came back to uh, the final academy and then in 2006 you signed for Kumasi Asante Kutuko. I moved uh, from Royal Antwerp. Uh, it's not because uh, of something, because mm. uh, I had an injury. Okay. And when I came what, back what, to... What injury was that? Operation. So I have to stay out of football almost a year. Wow. So after the Just year... Just on your arm? Yeah, my arm. Wow. Because when I came, then I have to play a couple of games for the club uh, uh, for final because they were in the Premier. Okay. So I have to play some games for them. So at straight road then i get this injury so i have to stay out because in the next day what happened, I, what happened to you i went to the air so when i was coming i came with my hand and then Ooh. i get this injury okay i was supposed to travel by two uh, bef uh, by two days but uh, it didn't happen yeah, yeah it didn't happen so but uh, were you so disappointed yeah, that that happened yeah i was disappointed great but then kotoko came calling in 2006 how did you accept this offer uh, after my my surgery, and I, I told the white man, you know, I've stayed for so many years. So, you know, I've not been playing, so mm. I have to take this opportunity and see if I can uh, make use of it. Mm. And uh, I think it's Chipsa who introduced me to uh, the Kotoko Technic uh, Management. Okay. Because uh, when I was in Winneba Secondary School, I used to go to the college when when the under seventeen people are. Mm. Uh, doing their justify okay. national team so mm. i used to watch some of his clothes and this thing but because most of the time we used to play our games in winneba secondary school okay so he sometimes he, he will come then come and watch it then he took me as his friend and then uh, that is joseph chips yeah you, you see his chips. you see in our six yeah yeah mm. great so through him that i come to i was invited to join uh, kotoko how, how, how was life in Kumasi Asante Kotoko the very first time you said? Because during that time, Kotoko were a powerhouse in the Ghana Premier League. And how, how did you welcome that? Uh, because we were, the boys were, some of the boys were from the academy. Mm. Uh, Harrison, Mark, and Inkum. So you can see that uh, we have those uh, mentality. Mm. That is why the team was uh, very gel in that season. Mm. Two seasons more, you won the Ghana Premier League in 2008. Mm -hmm. You played an instrumental role in that and that success. But how how did you see that team uh, and compare it to this team now? What okay. difference does it make? Well, this team, uh, uh, to be frank with you, if it, I will say I'll speak the truth. Mm. Kotoko, they don't have team. No, no, they don't have team. Well, why? Uh, what What's so different from that team which won the uh, the Premier League in two thousand and eight and the Premier League in twenty fourteen, which you were part two, of? Two all two those eight, success. Two oh seven to two oh eight. Mm. Technically, the boys are good. Mentally, they are tough. Mm. Skill, we have skill. Mm. Both even somebody who's playing number two, number three, they have skill. Mm. Even the midfield, we have strong midfield. Mm. The attack, we have go go fetches. Mm. 
So you can't compare this team to uh, do, those teams. So this team has failed? No, no, they have failed. Wow. Because you can't lead a, a league seven points, then, then later on, then you came third in the league position. No. Mm. So if you have something you want to tell uh, the management of Kumasi Atlantikotoko now, Danaya Amponsa, what would you like to tell him? Now, what, what sort of advice would you like to give Danaya Amponsa? The advice I will give him is mm. you have to select or those who are doing the i don't uh, this thing scouting for him mm. they have to select those who are technically and uh, mentally good if they are to take you as a scout for commercial center would you accept it yeah i'll accept it are you ready for it not now because now i'm working somewhere but if they bring a, a bumper contract to 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 your table that they need you as a scout for the team you being a former player yeah i know would you leave your job and go for no, it no, why no, no. don't you have kotoko at heart i have kotoko but i'm learning mm. so if i leave what i'm learning now to join kotoko i can't learn what if kotoko says that they're going to help you to learn so after you learn you come to the table. one i'll do it for them mm. you're ready for that I'll, i'm ready for that are you sure jordan sure so i mean talk of the players that you play with you play with the likes of inkum bequeen bequeen daniel nieje francis sakofu these are francis these Kofi. are absolutely incredible players yeah. and you feel this kotoko setup there's no one in that team now that can be compared to that those except teams. the only the white man gamma is playing but he don't have support they have okay. fabio gamma fabio gamma you have technique but you don't have support. They have uh, Ukraine. Ukraine mm. is not playing. They have Anabila. Anabila is not, not playing. playing. Yeah. You see, those people who have the technique are not playing. Mm. So you think it's a problem? Yeah, in, in the midfield, you have to have people who are creative. Mm. If you don't have creative midfield, then you cannot achieve. Okay. Everything is about set piece. Mm. Everything is about set piece. But if you have midfield who can give vert vertical passes, mm. then your strikers will score a lot. Great. Okay, Jordan. Now let's we'll talk about we'll come and talk about Brookham Chelsea in, in a moment. But now you're into coaching and how has it been for you? It's good. Mm. Because uh those I I'm learning under. Mm. They are the people I started with mm. and they have they have learned for almost twenty two years. Wow. So who are those? Can you mention uh, Sadiq mm. and uh, Prince. Mm. Sadiq is from Wafa? Yeah, he's from Wafa mm. and Prince also. Okay. So you can see that from 22 years they were under Kuchadi mm. and they go outside for refreshment. Mm. Great. Refresher courses. Yeah. So you can see that. What relationship learning. do you have with IBT Football Club? Baba is Baba is my brother. Mm. So sometimes when I came when I come home then I have to come and help mm. his team too. IBT played against Rancis FC uh, two weeks ago. You're on the touchline and you emphatically said that Anytime you're on the touch line for any team, they're going to score three. And that day they score three. Yeah. What, what do you have in you? Like, I have something in me. When I, when I say this this will happen, it will happen. Mm. It's instance mm. in me. So you can see that the day I saw you before the game, I told you that we're going to win 3-0. Yeah. And we won 3-2. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That is absolutely incredible. And we are having an interview, an exclusive interview with Jordan Opoku, the midfield dynamo, the midfield maestro for Kumasiya Santiago, and also Brooklyn Chelsea. He's played uh, his football with Real Antwerp. He also played for uh, Final Academy. Uh, and also, uh, he also started, he's the man, the first ever player to have made um, the Guma Feta Final. That is the Waffle now, they call them. He's the very first player who was on the team. And he was part of the team that was formed as an academy. That is absolutely incredible. This man has won eight trophies to his credit. And how how good is it to be part of a, a, a team that have, have, have chucked success? And not forgetting the Waffle Zombie, you also won, uh, I mean, a trophy. Tell us about that being playing for your national team colors. Well, it's very uh, exciting mm. because everyone wants to play for the national team. Mm. And if I call up to play for the national team, you have to give your best out. So that everything about hard work, if you want to make name, mm. you have to work hard mm. so that the name will come by itself. Mm. It's not about the money aspect. Mm. Money will come 
when you work hard. Mm. And when you want things to be easy, you have to work hard. Mm. But when you want things to be difficult for you, then you, if you take things easy, then it will be difficult for you. Okay. Jordan, if you take currently the, 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 the football that is being played currently, would you say that if you are to play football now, that milestone you chucked during your time, you can get it now? Oh, for sure. Your level of uh, intelligence during that time, if we are to bring it here, you, you feel or you believe that you, you, you can be a top quality midfielder in this terrain? For sure. Because you know now, football is scientific. Mm. It's not like before. Mm. Now they can tell you, move here, stay here, mm. don't go here. Mm. You understand? Mm. But before, mm. unless you have brains, before you can play football. Okay. So now, even if somebody don't know how to play, mm. when you teach him, he will know how to play. Mm. So the, 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 the talent itself is not there now like before. Okay. All right, great. Jordan, you are, you've played football and you're into coaching. What, what, has, what is the hardest? Is it football, playing football or coaching? It's coaching. Coaching is yeah. the hardest. Why? Yes. Because sometimes you, you, you meet a player who don't understand nothing. And what you are trying to teach him, we can't even do it. Mm. But you have to do it gradually, gradually, so that you understand and do it. So coaching is the hardest. Very, very, very hard. What makes football so so uh, uh, easy to do? What What makes it so easy? What makes football easy mm. is when you have technique. Okay. It makes it easy for you. Okay. And mentally, when you think before you receive, football will be easy for you. Okay. So I always see Zidane is my role model. Okay. Because you always think before you receive. Mm. And it's difficult to lose ball when you think before you receive. I see. Great. Yeah, so we are having an, uh, an amazing tech chat with Jordan Opoku, who is here, uh, former uh, Kotoko and former uh, Brooklyn Chelsea player. He's a midfield dynamo, a midfield maestro. He's a gem when we talk of midfielders. But you know what? We'll be taking a quick time. When we come back, we are going to ask Jordan five solid hard questions which he has to answer in no time. So we're doing a quick time. When we come back, we're going to give him our. Uh, Hard five for Jordan Napoku. Please just stay with us. All right, we are back. We are back again on the Sports Cafe Show, and it's time for the hard five questions for Jordan Napoku. Jordan, are you ready? Yeah. The very first question is, who has been your worst footballer you have played with? My worst. Jordan, are you sure? You've played with so many players. Yeah. You've played with so much players. But who has been the worst player you've played with? Are you are you are you shy that you when you mention no, a player? You would, I'm, you would. I'm not. I'm not shy. So why don't you, why don't you have a? I my, mean, every, every, I mean, you've played you've played football at the highest quality. You should have a, a, a worst footballer which you've played with. Me, I don't have worst footballer. But the reason is, I when I'm playing, I don't think of all this. But you are saying that this crop of um, Kotoko players are not good enough. By so, the, you so are, you, you are talking about me. Yes, those so who have played with. Yeah, Joseph played with. Who has been? That's why. I said those me I have played with. Mm. I don't have worse. You don't have worse. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the second question. In your career as a footballer, uh, for me, I think Kotoko did much for you than you did for the club. Is that true? Kotoko did much for you than you did for the club. Is that true? Yeah. No, no, no. You did much for the Kotoko. much for Kotoko yes. than they did for yeah. you. No, no, not that they they did not do anything for me, but I did much for them. You did much for Kotoko, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Kotoko didn't do much for you. Yeah, because of uh, my last uh, season with them. Okay. Simply because of the last, last season, season with them, you had I have with problem them. with some of the management. Okay, and that is the reason that why. Is the reason why I'm so you believe that you did much more yeah, for yeah. Kotoko than they did for you. Yeah. Okay, Maxo Kunedu and Didi Draman. Yeah. If you have to pick one to coach you, who would that be? Uh, 
You know, Maxwell was my coach in the national team, mm. but Didi was my coach in Kotoko. Kotoko. Yeah. So who would you, if today you want the coach to coach you, who would that be? Maso Kondedu and Didi. This is a difficult question. Yeah, it is. Uh, that is the hard five. It's a difficult question, yeah. but we want you to pick one. It's very difficult. Yeah, I know it's difficult, so pick one. We want you to pick one. <laughs> that is the third question. So two more to go. Didi Draman and Maxo Kondedu. I'll pick Didi. Why? Uh, uh, the reason why I'll pick Didi is uh, he brought me back from Brickham Chelsea mm. to Koto. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'll bring Didi. I'll, I'll, I'll say Didi. Okay. And uh, he put something in me mm. that uh, when we have a game, he said, uh, do whatever you want to do with the ball. That's what Didi told you? Yeah. Okay. When you lose, just only you, you just instruct me do this finish. When you lose the ball, do this finish. But when you have the ball, do whatever you want to do with it. Great. He said he said Max. Uh, but so did Draman will be the coach you would pick between him and Max or uh, The fourth question coming in is that um, Jordan, you were a midfielder and you 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 had great players or you saw great players, the likes of Stevie Napier, Michael Lessier and players that are dead and gone and players that are alive now who would you like to play midfield partnership with whether dead or alive i would like to play with ac michael S. Yeah. yeah why because ac is a defensive midfielder and i'm attacking midfielder so with all the defensive midfielders that we have in the country yeah it's only Michael Essien would love to play with. You're talking about Ghana? Yeah, Ghana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Michael Essien or Max Seche? Michael Essien or Max Seche? Seche. What, what combination do they have? Essien and Max Seche, what combination do they have? Can you, I want you to pick one. <laughs> okay. What, what memory do you have with Max Seche? What memory do you have with him? Because uh, when I was playing with Mark, in Kotoko, sometimes when we are playing and we are we are down by once, Mark will tell you that go, go for it. Don't come. I will do the job for you. Mm. And Mark will do the job for me. Wow. When he when he have the ball, he will release the ball for me, mm. and will stay at my back for you to do whatever Just you want to do. do with the ball. Great, great. The final question coming uh, is that uh, yes, um, something uh, in your career you wish you could have changed? What is that thing in your career you wish you could have changed? I wish like I will play in Europe more than I did in Africa. I like wish you had, you had played in Europe more, more than, than you did in Africa. In Ghana. More than you did in Ghana. Yeah. yeah. Great. 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 Jordan Opoku, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, massive, massive thank you for uh, being part of the show and it's, 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 I mean, it's been an interesting um, uh, interview that we've had with you. I'm sure that, yeah, we will be putting them out there. It's quite um, amazing uh, picking Masujiri Draman over uh, Maxo Kunedu, picking Sachre to uh, be a play partner with you, and also saying that you would have loved to play in Europe much more than play in Africa, and also say that you did better for Kotoko than they did for you. It's quite an amazing one. But currently, you're into coaching. Where? What? I mean, which team or how are you going about the coaching before we, 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 we leave here? Um, I'm still working with my, my, my two boss at Wafa. At Wafa, okay. Uh, so when, you're, when you, you um, for how long? It depends on me, mm. how long I want to learn. Mm, okay. Maybe if I want to learn two years, three years, five years, all depends on me how to uh, learn very fast. So that I can start something. Final question. This is not a big five because you are done with the big five. But after your coaching, after you, you you're done learning your coaching career, which team in this country would you love to coach? Uh, every coach you like to coach Kotoko has. Mm. Kotoko has. has or Ashgold or but who would you like to be under? 
if had to come calling, would you go? Uh, I'm a coach. I'm working. So you go? Yes. So if you are to hard to call, to call, who would you pick if they come that you they want you to coach them? Everything is about the money. Yes. This man brings the big money. Yes. <laughs> this one, yes. Everything is about the money. Yeah. If anybody brings the bigger money, he yeah. would go then. Thank you very much, Jordan okay. Opoku. I meant for my show, I meant for Dynamo, I meant for Jem. When you see Jordan Opoku play, I mean, trust you, he is absolutely incredible and he is absolutely magnificent. He will give you whatever thing you want in midfield. He, as you rightly said, he is, I mean, his role model is Zinedine Yazid Zidane, and that is what he can offer you. I mean, you see him tan, you see him smallest like that. He is a super, super player. And that is why we draw the curtains on the Sports Cafe Show. Thank you, Jordan, and thank you to all the entire production crew. And Nana Malon Bediakum uh, did a splendid job. And also, Papa is a forget, not forgetting you, Manon. And also, the cameramen that are here also did a splendid job. From me, Derek Aim, I say enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. Hello, girl. What you say? I don't care what them talking about you. Oh, my Belinda, I love the cool of my temper. We live in la vida loca. I can't believe I'm so fine. Your love, they hide me, Mokobi. You're my Doremi. Girl, I got the remedy. You're my melody. Mm. Girl, I know if you drop and go. Girl, I suck up for your love. Uh, Baby, me, bro, me, Mokobi. Uh, give me the visa, make it.